Hey yo, Carter coming to you today with a transgender question. To be honest, there's two questions, but it's all kind of relating, so I'm going to answer three different answers that kind of all relate. So, number one, the question is, what is something you wish everyone knew about transgender people? And number two question is, how do I help myself become more accepting of transgender people and their decisions? So they're kind of similar with my answers, so I'm combining them all. But number one answer is, remember that we are all people. We're all the same. We all come from the same energy. I mean, we're not all the same in the same in the sense that we're all unique and we all have our own uniqueness, our own journeys, uh, our own experiences. So, you know, remember that we're all human. We're all in this together in the sense that we all come down into these bodies to, to live a life that's totally unique, totally our own. And who are you to judge what's right and what's wrong? Know that, we, you know, we all are entitled and allowed our own opinions and our own journeys and our own experiences whatever that may be. So that's just, you know, my number one answer to that, you know, self-expression. We're all entitled to express ourselves in whatever way that we want. We're allowed to modify our body in any way, whether it be tattoos, piercings, or hormones, or a million other different things that we can do with our bodies and put on our bodies and change and adapt and get rid of. So yeah, we're all entitled to our own uniqueness and simply just supporting whoever is in your life, loving them unconditionally. It's pretty basic stuff for, um, you know, if you're trying to become more accepting of, of the transgender, get to know them. I mean, like, ask them questions, put yourself in your shoes, and try your best to get rid of any kind of judgmental views that you may have, any kind of... Um, things that you've been told is right or wrong, view things very neutrally and just matter-of-factly and listen to their story. I'm I'm a transgender person that's very excited to, to share my knowledge, so please ask me any questions, specific, more general, whatever you got, ask me if you want to know. That's probably your best bet on trying to become more accepting and more supportive. So, um, yeah, other than that, like pronouns are something that I want to bring up. That's something that I wish more people were more aware of, of pronouns can, can be a really tough thing for some people. Gender, gender expression and gender, um, identity, they're two different things. So, so someone may express more masculinely, but their identity is more feminine or, you know, even female. So to assume what but based on looks isn't flying anymore so pronouns ask if you if you just meet someone ask what their pronouns are you have no idea they could be they could be gender neutral they, you know they could go by they him or they them they <laughs> or there that's it or he or she you know you don't know you have no idea so ask just simply ask i'm trying to get in the habit of Referring to anyone as either people or human or they, people, and, you know, asking pronouns when you first meet them. Even, you know, if you haven't talked in a few months or several months, it's not, it's not, there's, like, it's safe to ask anyone what their pronouns are. There's no downside to it. There's no consequence. So, just a little tip, I would suggest asking people what their pronouns are um and last thing i want to talk about something that i wish people knew a little bit more about transgender people is bathrooms public bathrooms are tough um at least for me i mean before i really realized i was transgender and then even when i did going into the female bathroom like i was uncomfortable and i knew sometimes there were people that were uncomfortable with me being in there because of the way that I looked. And, you know, there were people that double took to make sure they were walking into the right bathroom as I was walking out. And, you know, so that made me very uncomfortable. And making other people uncomfortable made me uncomfortable as well, obviously. So that was, you know, a big deal. And then now that I'm using male bathrooms, I still am nervous. I'm still uncomfortable walking in a male bathroom for multiple reasons. One being, you know, it's, a, a space that 
I mean, I don't know who's homophobic. I don't. I could. I could encounter someone that is um, homophobic that somehow finds me out that maybe knows me already and can beat the living fuck out of me. I don't know. I mean, like, there's there's that sense in, in the sense that it's a space that can be um, private and you know it's unsafe in that sense there's also you know having to wait for one stall seeing e even though there's like you know numerous urinals that I can't use there's um, just the nervousness of walking in there and knowing that you know I'm not 100% fitting in here I mean I categorize myself as in between the binary male or female so it's not easy walking in one or the other and so family bathrooms and gender neutral bathrooms are like my savior as soon as I see them it's like relief and all is good so um, just wanted to bring that up bathrooms can be a pretty big deal at least for me public bathrooms um, I'll also generally hold hold my bladder for longer than I should just to make it back home instead of having to find somewhere that's out in public so um, yeah that's my answers thank you so much for the questions uh, remember to love help grow thank you for taking the time to watch all this and for all your questions all your engagements all your love and everything much appreciated I love you all I hope you guys are having a terrific Tuesday and I'll catch you guys tomorrow peace